Welcome to part 11 of the Mega Man ZX monologue let's play, and um, sorry about the length of this part again. I swear, these last missions take no time at all. I, in hindsight, I really should have just gone like two and two on each ones, but uh, it'd give me a lot more to practice, and I'd be worried more about messing it up. So, this is the last of the Pseudoroid missions. And you want to know what the worst part about the length of this video is? <laughs> It is this long, and I am still showing me walking there. Because it's not that far. Uh, I haven't really shown off where it is yet. I think I went there in, like, part two or something. I don't come through here very often. So I just fig I figured I'd show you where it is at all. Because we haven't passed by it. And I want to show off the <laughs> my human ale color palette, alright? I This is a good joke, and I want to show it off for more than a couple seconds. I saved this mission for last because, uh, quite frankly, it is without a doubt the hardest one. Anyone who's tried to go completionist on this game has nightmares about this place. I thank God, uh, thank God, uh, the nature of this let's play means that that's not an issue. Hello, cameo. So yeah, as uh, the Rush Roadstar, a roadster from Mega Man Battle and Chase. The dig site looks like it continues deep underground. Try to find a way down there. Very good, uh, briefing. So yeah, Rush Road stuff from Mega Man Battle and Chase. It was a racing game on the PS1. Never released in America except for the X Collection. So, I have played it. Uh, I really have not spent, like, any real time on it. I should. Uh, if you go- There's another part in the city where you can find Proto Man's car from that game. Uh, the kid's brother has it. Okay, so, uh, the, wa the water here is toxic, so you can touch it, but you can't be in it for too long or you'll take damage. It won't kill you instantly, but you will take- and the spouts are, of course, just instant damage. Get used to that. So this mission's weird. Whenever I think of it, I think of, like, a, uh, a lava level. And you'll see why, but the beginning part really isn't that. It's just sort of water. And we have a mini boss. I guess it's sort of like Zero Three in that it's an ordinary enemy that's like. I don't. I really don't know what this guy's deal is. I can tell you, if you're playing this game normally, use a uh, Model H's like level 2 tornado. Rips through this thing in no time flat whatsoever. However, uh, I tried this with, like, the electrical attack Omega has in Overdrive. It didn't seem like it did too much, so I just recommend Shard Slashes. This guy can be a pain just because he attacks quickly and his pattern is hard to recognize. It's there. You know, like, I think every other time he goes down, he'll just immediately pick his head back up. The other times he'll follow you for a couple punches, you just have to move out of the way. Then he'll do that move... Which, thankfully, we've set open for a bit. Then maybe he'll, like, go down there. Maybe not. It is kind of weird, and it makes it pretty easy to take damage on this fight. This attack, I just recommend standing on one edge of the screen. Because it'll always start where you are and then arc away. So you can easily just move out of the way if it starts on an edge. And then be sure to move out of the way because the head's going to land on top of you. There it goes. Except it doesn't explode for whatever reason. It just, like, almost, like, teleports away. And then we get to the second... We were sent here to check out the trap in the area. According to reports, lava flows through the next area and sweeps away intruders. That lava will do you in if you come into contact with it. He is not kidding. So, do not go up there. This level is a bit of a rabbit hole in that there's a whole other area to this level you don't have to go through. But it's necessary for completion. And I spent so much time on it. Okay, for this part coming up, I recommend using the buster. Don't charge don't use overdrive, because whenever you shoot with the overdrive buster, you uh you stop dead in your tracks, and here you need to be moving. Yeah, why? Because there is a wall of lava chasing you, and if it touches you, it is instant death. All of the lava here is instant death. <laughs> Yeah, that those wall of blocks up there, uh, you can only hit if you uh, 
You can only destroy them with charged up Model F punches. But, you know, the lava's chasing you. It, t it takes a couple punches to take them down, and you really don't have time. It's possible. Fuck this. Fuck this section. Those lava pillars are super annoying, by the way, because if you touch them, they're instant death. There's enemies on the other side, and you can't shoot through them. So, it's basically, you have to really worry about the cycle. Either way, that path up there, that's how you get a sub-tank in this level, and it is so fucking hard to get. I can't do it. Hmm? Oh, it's you. You're the one going around stealing the biometals. I could feel your presence a mile away. It was drilling straight through the ground to me. Lord Serpent says there's something even more powerful buried deep beneath the surface. But nothing's coming up. I'm the Model F Pseudoroid, Flammel. I'll take you down and that ancient biometal will be back, safe in our hands. Stage of difficulty does not end here. This is probably the most difficult of the Pseudoroid fights. He's very easy to uh, destroy with the electrical attack, thankfully. But he has like a flame attack like that, that is very difficult to jump over. Then he has the- each of those rocks damages you, so... He has a very wide, like, both of attacks. And then when he drills into the ground, it's difficult to tell whether he's just gonna, like, run around the ground like that, or if he's gonna move between the floor and the ceiling. Lucky he's easy to kill. I see now. You weren't the one I sensed. Must have been... Model W? Or... Is there something else like you? Ah! Yeah, in the original script, he does specifically mention, like, a biometal buried deep beneath the ground. <laughs> what a waste that a loser like that had my power. Sorry, but it'll be some time before I can recover that password. Don't worry, I'll get it for you. So yeah, uh, specifically mentions a biometal underground. That is your hint about Model O. It's kind of weird to me that Model O is specifically mentioned in the story. Well, not like by name, but it's hinted at in the story, despite the fact that going for it is a completely optional thing. I'm mean, gonna guess that's not that weird. We finally have all six biometal fragments. We must regroup and prepare. Head back to HQ. That completes all eight pseudoroids. Uh, if you, I, I got distracted. I didn't explain the, uh, the whole sub tank thing very well. Look that up if you're interested. It is fucking nuts all the steps to it and it's weird and uh next part it's gonna be uh the beginning of the end game and don't worry about the length of this part next one's gonna be a bit of a beefer <laughs>